And last year in the budget, the other, the other new product that was introduced was the um, technology development grants. Those are um, what have been called for the savvy companies. They are the established companies who are already doing research, they are already exporting, they know what they're doing. So rather than having to come to us every five minutes and say, can I, please can I have some money for this project or that project or whatever, we'll actually agree that we will pick up 20% of their R&D costs. Um, okay, I'm afraid it's not up in here in Tapa, but the example of that would be Gallagher's. Gallagher's in Hamilton, we've agreed 3.1 million a year for the next three years to support their R&D. But there are a few, um, it's got to be more than a certain number of, t amount of turnover, and you've got to spend at least 5% of your turnover on R&D. But that's a way of being, uh, of, of sort of helping those that are already successful become even more successful. The overall budget for Tech and Z is around about 100, well, at the present moment it's just under 100 million, uh, and over the next three years it's going to, as it stands at the present moment, um, it's going to write about 120 million. But obviously, like you, I don't know what's in the budget, so we'll wait and see what happens there. But the, the signals coming out of government is that this is a vital area, this is the way that we're going to energise um, uh, the economy. So there's going to be support there. Um, we also have a, a sister project called Global Expert. Global Expert is one of the best kept secrets in the whole of New Zealand, in my opinion. It's brilliant. It's a worldwide search engine for expertise, whereby if you have a technical problem, we can actually do a search for you to find you the best people in the world to actually help solve that problem, that issue. So it could be a, a particular, as I say, a problem. Alternatively, it could be a particular skill you're looking for. I did one uh, a couple of months ago for a, a company in the, in the, in the uh, park. And um, I think we have 15 uh, people, which we then did some due diligence on. We had five people. We then um, uh, the comp gave those to the company. The company decided to go with two. One's a professor in a Texas university, and the other one's a professor in Melbourne. They've decided to go with two because one's coming from this direction on the problem, one's coming from that direction. Hopefully, they'll meet in the middle. So it's a really, really good scheme. So help uh, build more competitive products, shorten time to market and also assist with critical planning and decision making. So this bigger, better, faster thing. So the sorts of things that we can cover under that, R&D strategy, market intelligence, uh, concept evaluation, freedom to operate, and develop uh, product and uh, process uh, development, technical expertise, and product sourcing and testing. How does it work? We guarantee within 15 working days we'll come back to you with an answer fast and it's good. There is, I'm afraid, a, a price for it though. Um, international search costs 2,000 in round figures and uh, on, on onshore search is 500 plus GST. Um, <coughs> it costs us a lot more than that but it's to show that you are serious about it. And if you are serious about it we can help it then in that we will then pick up the first $2,000 of the cost of the expert, plus if it's uh, probably go with dollar for dollar on the remainder. So it's a, a way of getting very cost effective expertise into your company. It's also used, you might think, oh yeah, I, I know a man, I, I know the guy that's really good. This can actually check, it, check them out, how good are they? So we can actually, we, 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 if you say, I'd like you to look in this area, but I think Joe, Joe, Joe Bloke will actually uh, meet the criteria. We'll, we'll put him in the mix and see where he comes out. So it's a good way of testing that. Um, the most of funding is on dollar for dollar. We also do have projects involving students, uh, whereby a master's 
uh, on a master's student, the, the project becomes their thesis, and the same with PhD. And that's really good. <coughs> because especially if you're into a, a medium long term project, and it's completely novel, you get the student involved, you jointly supervise them with the university, they do their thesis over 12 months, you get, you get the results in the end of 12 months, and hey presto, you've already, already got the person there you can probably employ as the expert for that new product as well. So it's very, very cost effective and, uh, and, um, and good. I have got at the back there various pieces of paper, but I didn't want to push them all around. Um, if, if you're interested in getting more information, um, pick up those. You can also find us on, on the web, but also that's my contact details and my team's contact details. We are more than happy to come out and see you. We're more than happy to come and, in fact, we prefer to actually come and stand in the middle of your workshop and see what you're doing and understand it. Because, well, one thing's you get a better feel of the business itself rather than somebody coming in and sitting in front of you on a desk. Two, um, sometimes you go in and say, well, no, that's, that project's not eligible, but hey, you've got something over here. Well, sometimes you've actually been into companies and say, well, we don't do R&D. Well, what's that then? Oh, well, that's what we do all the time. Yeah, but that's R&D. So we can help. We're more than happy to, uh, to, uh, to, to, uh, to come around and, 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 and to sit down with you and see how we can help you, assist you to go bigger, better, faster. <coughs> now it's your turn to speak. Questions? I'm sure I haven't stunned you all into silence. 